Alex, is it time? It's time, dude. It's time. Here we go. So, guys, a mint, mint apparel was a thing for a very long time now. Now, junk brand Get is now junk. official. Get, Get your fucking junk gear. Get your junk. Junkforless.net. You see, I used to rock mint. You know, everyone used to rock mint. It used to be the cool thing and everything. But, junk is taking over here. It's new junk. You fucked it. I did fuck it. But it's okay, the sticker's junk. Yeah, I know. You put a junk placement on with a junk sticker. <laughs> Sheesh. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. We got fucking shirts. Yeah. We got hats. Yes, sir. We got sweatshirts. Yes, sir. We got beanies. We yes. got it all. Yeah. Junkforless.net. Get your merch today. Let's get to the junker. Pick and pull. Uh, we're getting dirty today. All right, well, I was filming with my head mount, and for some reason, my GoPro was literally just like shit the bed, the seven, and um, it just keeps freezing. We filmed probably 10 minutes worth of footage. I went to go view it just to make sure like the head mount was good and everything, and it's unable to view any clips, so they're probably corrupted for some odd reason. It's weird, I have a brand new SD card and everything. But anyways, here we are at the Jump Care. Welcome, we, we're looking at a 3000 GT. Sadly, this thing is front wheel drive. I was looking for uh, all-wheel drive one so I can take one knuckle off the front one knuckle off the rear and really match them up with the Evo 1 see if this can is it is even possible because I, I was talking to someone that had um, 3000 GT calipers and knuckles and he didn't do it but it, they were on the car so I know it's possible I just don't know how to do it yet so we're trying to figure that out we're pretty unprepared here we I mean we we got the best the best for the guns we yeah. have no hammer, no dikes, no, no pliers, no, no nothing like that. We just have sockets, wrenches, and guns. We got guns. Yeah. I just spit on you. I'm so sorry. A tiny bit. <laughs> but here we are. We're going to go ahead. We're going to take the tie rod off first, but we don't have a hammer. So. You're going to find something hard enough to smash it with. <laughs> We don't have a hammer. We went to a junkyard without a hammer. I know. What, what can we find, dude? Let's look around real find quick. Find an alternator. An alternator? Yo, I found an alternator. No, fuck it. I'm using a starter. <laughs> All right, guys. I found my hammer. You think this will work? <laughs> it might. Hello. Daddy? Nah, it's okay. Hit the threads. You don't need the threads. I guess so. Doesn't work good like a hammer does. Oh. Damn it! You wanna try, want try the alternator? Because it looks like you're not even hitting it. Alright, damn you. Oh. Alternator time? Alternator time, boys. On a hammer. <laughs> You're the one who don't want to grab one. Come, baby. Please come out. I'm begging you to get out of this fucking knuckle. Please. I'm destroying you. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a wag at this? No, oh. you don't. You don't want to take. We yep. should have brought a fucking saw and everything, dude. Who are we? Oh, uh, you're the one who gathered the tools. I just was there. Hey, you were there for the moral support, though. Yeah. You should have been like, hey, man, we're going to a junkyard. Maybe we should grab a hammer. I'm not blaming you. Oh, I expected you to already know. I don't come to these. Well, we're talking about suspension, so. All right, let's get this. Can we even get this off? Oh yeah, good old Mac, and I'm saving the day. Even though any wrench could really have done that. Yeah. See, it's all nice and crusty because uh, this was in a, a fire, guys. Yeah, no. So. All the bolts are pretty easy to get out because they've been toasty. Yeah. Fuck, dude, this thing keeps threading. Send it. Oh. Oh shit. my. <laughs> Imagine that just flew. They hit me in the face. Yeah. This is a fucking junkyard fail, boys. Yeah, you can definitely tell Chris has never been to a pick and pull or a you pay you pull. Ow, ow, ow. Come on, baby. 
he's used to just buying stuff brand new, so. Cause you know, Chris Money Run not okay, here. Okay, fuck off. <laughs> you know I got dykes? <laughs> what am I paying you for? <laughs> okay, now you're using my jokes. Hell yes. Yeet. All right, we got one thing off. Right, just, Ew, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Look at that. I'm gonna set it down so it leaks out. Okay. Oh wait, I forgot, this is compression so it won't leak out. Never mind. Right you know, Alex, that was a job well done. Yeah. I'd say so myself. Now if we can get this um, high what, rod, what, what this sway bar. This caliper is going to be like 100 bucks. I'd be pissed. I'd actually be pretty upset. 100 bucks. Should be cheaper because we're pulling it, right? I don't even know what's going on under here. We need a hammer. We'll be back. <laughs> well, we're trying to take the sway bar end link off right now. And um, you know when you go to take the sway bar end links off? In the the nuts moving, in the whole actual the whole bushing itself is actually spinning with it. So, in this scenario, it'd be really nice to have some um, needle nose vice grips. You just vice grip it, the little metal rod, and we don't have those either. Well, we got a brake caliper. We have a brake caliper. I think we should just hide it. Maybe you can hit that with the. Huh? Oh, yeah? Well, should we try it? Try it. This is stupid. Ah! It's not working. I'm gonna get tetanus on it. <laughs> Alex, I hate you. I hate you. Fuck you! <laughs> we have to at least go home with something. We came here. I mean, we do have a brake caliber. We gotta hide the brake caliber, dude. We, we can't, because someone's gonna, someone's gonna take it. Not if we hide it. If we hide it, someone's still gonna find it. No way, dude. Yes. We'll dig a hole. No, there's no digging holes here. We'll dig a hole, and we'll bury it, and then we'll put a cross over it. You wouldn't have to have a 10 millimeter at the bar. 10 mil? I'll trade you for a hammer. I got a hammer in the car. I believe I got a hammer in the car. All right. Okay. Yeah. Hey, it's turning up. It's turning up for us. You have vice grips? In fact, um, if you bring gloves to the junkyard, use them. Use them, cause we <laughs> brought gloves. Yeah, we brought gloves. We didn't use them. No. Um, so, some nice dude came by. He needed to use a 10 mil. I told him I trade him for um, some channel locks and a hammer. Got an eight ounce hammer. I was a little nervous at first with this um, Anvil eight ounce hammer. Yeah, that's like a Walmart kit. But I fucking. I gave her the beans. I gave her the corn. Yeah. I gave her the corn the long way. Yeah. I, I beat this horn to death. Yeah. Oh, that, maybe we shouldn't say that. I beat this horn to death, and I got this tie rod off. And then Alex, he noticed that there was a bolt for the sway bar in link at the bottom, so we got that off as well. Yes, sir. And then just, the lower control arm was just, a 19. We just need that I out. I got it off with the wrench, yeah. but... Hopefully the anvil will really do some work here because we got to get it off this ball joint. We have less than, we have like about 30 minutes left. We have 30 minutes left to get Before this place stuff. closed. And hopefully this axle just pops out. I know. Hopefully. Are you ready, Alex? Yeah, we'll go. All right, don't break the dude's hammer now. I forgot about the break the hammer. Do you think so? No, look, it's crooked. The hammer's crooked. Did you push it down? If it breaks, it breaks. I'll pay for that. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. No, it's coming up. Dude, this is money because I couldn't take this off all the way because the axle was too close. Money. Dude. Come on, axle. Just come out here, please. Just come out. Yank that son. <laughs> We're so close. <laughs> look, look, if, the, if there's a C-clip, I'll be so No, nervous. I don't want to go under there. Here, I watch guess out. I'm going to have to. Watch out, watch out. No. You know what, dude? No. Let the big boy get in I there. have to do this. This is for the Evo, man. I got to do this. Yeah, but I'm your bodyguard. You are my bodyguard, but let me get like a something to lay on. Great. No safety glasses, no nothing. You're better off wearing your uh, sunglasses. I'm going under, dude. Just take a look at Tell it. my kids I love them. Uh, Courtney, your husband. I said my kids. <laughs> your husband loves you. It's melted to the thing, right? I don't know, dude. I don't really know what I'm looking at here. The axle boot. I thank you. Thank you, Alex. Well, you said you don't know what to look at. I'll give you an answer. Axle boot. You want to use the pry thing right here? 
Yeah, let me see it. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Pry the boot off the melted fucking transmission. Dude, no way. You got that stupid metal zip tie? I got fucking dicks in my ear. Well, I don't know you that. You ever had dicks in your ear, Alex? Uh, no. Doesn't feel good. Let me get that hammer. Hammer. My fucking eight ounce Avil, dude. Avil. Avil, Avil, same shit. We're not leaving without this, dude. No I know. way. Not this close. It's, it's starting to sound quiet out here, Chris. <laughs> like he's really starting to sound quiet out here. Like I don't hear anyone else wrenching anymore. Dude, I'm nervous. What do we do, man? A night, a night at pick and pull, or a night at you pick you pull. You ready for that? A night at you pick you pull. Brand new shirt. Pick up um, junkforless.net. Yes, sir. Because you know why? Right now, this is junk. This is junk. <laughs> it's junk because of us, but it's junk. You. You can't help me with the ball. <laughs> Fine. Still going, so. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey. Girl, say. Oh! Yeah! yeah! Hell yeah! Even though, even though the inside boot's broken, but it's okay. It came off. <laughs> we got it, dude. <laughs> it we fucking off. got it. Look at all that nasty gunk in there. <laughs> Ooh. 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 But we got stuck. it out. I'm we got the stuck. caliper, we got the knuckle, and a broken axle. It's and okay though, yeah. because we got it. Oh, look at that. How much grease is almost landing on your fall. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that was a close one, huh? Yeah, it was. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with you guys because uh, we're just going to try to get out here. <laughs> I still have that on camera. <laughs> but we're, we're going <laughs> to. He's just trying to get high off of axle grease. But uh, How to get high at a junkyard? Yeah. But we'll be right back. We gotta no. get we gotta get out of here. Yeah, we gotta get Don't out of do here. That. Don't do that. We gotta get out of here. All right, guys. Well, we may have struggled a little bit, right? We struggled a little bit. Yeah, the sun just killed me already. You already dead? The sun. You yeah. got the sun kiss though. That should like replenish your health. I should have got a G two. I know. I don't know why you got a soda after all of that. Oh. You're wild. But anyways, we got um the front right knuckle. So technically the driver's side knuckle for um the Evo. I mean, I guess next is um. Bring the Evo to the shop and try it. Yeah, tear it apart. I mean, worst comes to worst, it doesn't work. The All the parts were 90 bucks, but you can bring them all back and get store credit, which is cool. Because, um, honestly, this junkyard is kind of cool. It's kind of fun. And even though it's kind of a shit show that... Dude, I kind of want to buy an 8-ounce Advil. And just fuck around with it? Yeah, dude, that thing was OG as fuck. But anyways, we're going to go to the shop, um, clear out some space for the Evo, and then go grab the Evo, so... See you there, junk merch. Get it. All right, so we just got to HP. I just have to ask one question. I could look it up, but I'll just ask first. Um, I don't know if the 3000 GT front wheel drive were turbo, and then the all wheel drive was turbo, if they were both, or if just the all wheel drive was turbo, and the front wheel drive wasn't. Because my fear is that the non-turbo one, the axles are smaller. And I mean, this is a long shot. Like, you know, what are the odds of the axles being the same size as the Evo Z? It could be. It could be. Could be. But it's more than. But then again, not. but then again, your luck is junk. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, stop the HP. I don't think the front wheel drive ones were turboed. I mean, I could be wrong. I could still look it up. But at the end of the day, we're going to get the Evo right now. We're going to pull it apart, and we're really going to see if it fits. Anyways, if not. It's whatever, we can return everything and then get store credit. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not that bad because like I said, I'm sure I'll be going back. We're hooking up the trailer right now because we want to get this thing out of here. We're going to bring the Evo. We're going to start working on it. So we'll catch up with you guys when we're back at the shop. All right, many hours later, I kind of have a predicament here. So I've been a couple auto zones and I bought a couple things. I had to return them. We have this lock key situation. I don't have the lock key for these wheels. I can't get the wheel off. So I came to HP. And my buddy Jack here thinks he has a solution. Do you think you have a solution or do you know you have a solution? Listen, I can get that thing off. You can get it off. I, it it I might not be pretty you. or what? It might not be pretty. But you can get it off. I promise you. I like that you just have beef jerky chilling here. Snap That's on. how me and you are friends right here. Snap on beef jerky. want a piece? Snap on? Yeah. It's not the real tool snap yes, on. Yes, it is. I got it right off the Shut truck. Shut up. No I'm way. you, dude. You want a piece? I do want a piece. Try that. Thank you. It's peppered. I have some good... That's some snap-on beef That's jerky, if I could say. Perfection. It's a non-sponsored <laughs> ad, by the way. Yeah, no, not sponsored. But if you want to sponsor it, you can pay me. Now, I'll, no. I'll give some money to Jack because 
He's he's the one that bought the beef jerky. Shout out Snap On. So what are we working with here? I'm gonna look and see what I got. I guys, got, like, I'm eating like a pig. In, in various extractors and things. I think with what we have to work with, mm -hmm. I should be able to get that off of there. I hope this is all not for nothing, because like I said, I'm winging this whole thing. Hey, I like the wing thing. If it doesn't work, that's okay. I'm just trying to do this to figure it out. I mean, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, oh well. What, are you just gonna hammer that fucker? Yeah, we're gonna hammer it on and then we're gonna try and twist it off. All right, here we go. All right. Ooh, that's going on there. That's money. Okay. Jack, you think this is the money shot right now? I beat the fuck out of it with the hammer. <laughs> you literally, I literally I'm gonna just. Tell you right now, if it doesn't come off now, it ain't coming off. Don't say that. I'm nervous now, but I trust in your mechanic abilities. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Did you just get it? Ooh. Hell yeah, dude. Here we go. This Here is go. why Jack's the man. Look at this. Just take it all the way off. Boom. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you. Go. His Instagram's right at that fist bump. Check it out. Come follow me. Corn status. Corn stars. I said status, but it's stars. Yeah, you can make a chain out of it. You can wear it. Put that with that flywheel bolt that we couldn't get off. So when I'm ready to take the other wheels off, can I come to you? No deal. <laughs> no deal. You saw, you saw how hard I yeah. hammered that thing? <laughs> he was hammering it for like two minutes. But you didn't hit the wheel once. Very impressive. Not bad, right? Very impressive hammer skills. I can tell you you're not no rookie at that. I've done it couple times it's not my first rodeo so now that he did that I'm gonna go back to my shop I'm gonna take the rest of the lug nuts off and we're gonna take this all apart and see if the knuckles are the same and I can run a 3000 GT knuckle in the front Ooh, you weird. think I can yeah. it's from a front-wheel drive yeah that should fit. Mitsubishi yeah it's, it's a 97 a couple years a couple years not a big deal a couple years a little more than a couple but whatever hey just go do it all right I'm just gonna go do it it's time. It's time. Fucking right. Fucking right. All right, guys. Well, we got the Evo wheel off now. Um, I got the axle nut off, and I'm not gonna lie. I have the um, 3000 GT knuckle right here, and it's looking pretty promising. I mean, the tie rod might sit a little different. Um, I don't really know this for a fact, but I'm kind of assuming um, maybe if it does sit in, in a different spot, but it still works. Couldn't you just align it to make it straight? I mean, I would assume so. I mean, maybe you even, like, worst comes to worst, you'd have to cut the tie rod a little and um, shorten it. But I think that could be solved. But the knuckles kind of look the same. The axle nut threads onto this axle and the other axle. So that's another good sign. They were both the same millimeter. I used um, a 32 millimeter to get off both nuts. I don't know if that matters either, but. I mean, so far, so good. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take the caliper off now and really just start disassembling this. The sway bar is in a different location on the lower control arm, but I am keeping the Evo lower control arm on, on, so that's not a problem at all. I'm not even touching the sway bar at all. And I mean, so far, so good. I'm very excited to see if this works, and if this works, I'm gonna be beyond stoked. That means we can go back to the pick and pull junkyard, we can get the other side, and then we just need to figure out the rear. So I will have five luck in the front, sadly, I don't have any five lug wheels. I do have them the G37, but you bet your balls I'm not putting those wheels on. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start taking this thing off a little more, diving a little bit deeper. We might have some success tonight, boys. I'm really excited to follow along. Yo, what is going on in the fucking neighborhood? Is that better? That's literally the exact same. I don't really know if this is accurate, but I'm just trying to like, you eh, know, this might be a little taller. No, 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 it's good. Wait, it might be like the tiniest bit of a difference. So, this is the Evo 1 um, knuckle. This is the 3000 GT knuckle. This um, width is one inch bigger. I mean, honestly, I measured it from here to here. Like I said, I don't know if that matters, but obviously you can tell that this one's a little longer. Roberto actually just came here and he said, as long as we have enough um, threads on the tie rod, we'll be able to align it. I'm not gonna fucking align it, but the real, the real test. You know what the real test is right now? Shoving her on, boy. Shoving her on to see if the axle is the same, because obviously we can't use that axle. Um, it's missing a stub then. This is the make it or break it, boys. Yes, sir. 
It sucks because I won't be able to run this because I don't have any five lug wheels. But if it works, it works. And that means we can go back to the pick and pull and get the other one. Yep. And um, even though the other one is front wheel drive, I'm curious to see if this does work. Yeah. I'm curious to see if we can take one of those off because, I mean, for the rear. it should still have the spline, right? Yeah. Maybe. If it's well, a, well, what Roberto said is that they might have you know, like a cap or like a stud just in if there we, just to fill it. If we could take like that stud or cap off. Oh yeah, it's golden. It's threaded. Golden. That's money. Yeah. And I mean, I'm willing to put my money. I feel out. like I feel like the knuckle in the rear should be okay. It's just this the center is going to be. It's uh, going to be a little different. Yeah, it's going to be. But I mean, I can do a little off. more research and maybe even like Frankenstein some shit. The only thing I'm worried about is like. This diameter, or this whatever you call it, is the same. Yeah. So I don't have any problem getting coilovers. I can no. still get my BC coilovers mm -hmm. that I want to get. But if we do some Frankenstein shit in the rear, maybe it might be a little different. Yeah. But um, I think, I know Evo 4 suspension in the front works for these cars. It's just sourcing that. It's very yeah. hard for the little runny here. It's very hard to find Japanese parts for me. Well, guess what? You're going in a couple of days. I'm going to motherfucking Japan, boy. So there you go. But um, yeah, pick up your merch. I don't know. That was a fucking terrible plot. Anyways, random. Jump for last time, yeah. Uh, pick it up. Um, yeah. yeah. You We're know, because you know, if this doesn't work, it is junk. junk. Um, now another shameless plug. Go well, look at those lights. Alex just did another killer detail because that was um pretty upset with him that he did a better job on the front side than mine. So by the time it's hard, he decided to keep going with that. Yeah, while he took. Five years to get back. I uh, detailed that while he was gone. So you'll see a headlight restoration on let's my get, channel. Let's get Alex 5,000 subs. You think that's fair to say? Uh, I think so. Like 2,500 right now? Uh, literally, I think 200 away or 100 away from 3,000. All right. Well, I mean, 2,000 people. Let's support my, my boy Alex. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go down the link description. Actually, go buy some junk merch. Come back. And then go to Alex's channel after this video and then support him. Yeah, everyone's happy. Yeah. So here we go. Here we go. No. I'm no. nervous, dude. I don't know if I want to do this. Let's make this a separate video. We'll see you tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding. No, I was about to, I was about to click it too. <laughs> Sheesh. I would have put the axle in first. Dude, fuck. Yeah, no, actually, you're kind of right. I have replaced the axle dude. before. Butter. I saw that. <laughs> it did go on butter. But. Does it have any play in it? Yeah, does it catch? We will find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Oh no, dude. I think it is bigger. You know what a better idea is? Bring, because this will be easier. Bring this one over and see if this is different. Da -dun. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Damn it, I just touched the grease. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Well, you know what this. On, let me think. Let me think. Yeah, I was wondering if I could buy like an Evo One bearing. Mm -hmm. But I think the bearing is part of this. Yeah. Is there a way to take this piece off, get an Evo One bearing, and then put this on, and then it would have the Evo One splines? No, because the splines are a part of the bearing itself. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it looks like you're gonna have to get 3,000 GT axles and see if they. No, 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 no. That's that was a way longer. You can tell. Like, look at. Eh. Well, I mean, we, we would have think to see, it, we though. would have to see though. But think about it. If it doesn't fit into this, what mm. makes it gonna fit into the transmission? There's a chance it might. Because there was a chance that this would work. Well, I know, but it's just like we don't have the end that connects to the transmission because the one in the junkyard were uh, was broken off, ever melted in. I'm pissed. I ripped my lower ball joint because my last hammer swing, right? Fucking hit the rubber and then it just started jizzing out. Is yeah, jizzing inappropriate? I don't think so. Jizzing out of my ball. Joint. Oozing out. Oozing. Oozing's better than jizzing, but jizzing sounds funnier. Well, because everyone knows what jizzing is. I mean, who knows? Some people might not know what that is. Yeah, they're like five years old. You knew? No. Oh, okay. I'm kind of bummed. Throw down in the comments what I can do. Send it just. Because, like, this knuckle will 100% work. Like yeah. guaranteed this knuckle will work, but the axe, dude, the axle is literally a cut hair too small. A cut hair too big. Yeah. Back to the drawing board. Back to the, dude, I, I was pretty confident in this whole thing. 
now you got to do your research of what can fit. Yeah, no, I'm definitely not going to return this right away. I want to see if we can like make this work. Is this a Jack question or a Roberto question or both? I think it's an internet question because like neither of them have their own info. True. So well, I, I mean, Roberto I, has, but he has an own evil wound. Yeah, no, I gotta go get lost in some fucking forum that like takes me to fucking no man's land. Or just do you have no idea like how many things you have to, like click to like find something? Oh yeah. This bar. It's kind of wild. Yeah, people aren't really the best. I, I did read in the comments that like a bunch of Australians work with these, and like honestly, I've just been reading those kind of forums, you know. Oh, well, that's the best. Like, I've been thing. reading Evo. I think it's one, Evo one two three dot net or something. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Australia, like, Austria, Australia. Like I said, I know Evo Four stuff works, but I don't. I I thought this would work. I was pretty confident, and like mm-hmm. the knuckles are kind of the same, other other than this being a little longer. But um, it makes you I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put the Evo One back on because that this was all just a test, anyways. I wasn't gonna be able to bolt this because I don't have the wheel. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this back together because this is kind of all right. Um, yeah. You know. oh, so unless you want to walk, you know, cardio boy. I gotta sneeze because you said that. What? <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Alright, we'll be right back with you guys. Here you go. Hmm? Car. He's all back together. We can go home now. Good news is we can still drive. Um, I put the knuckle all back together. Sadly, you guys know that's not gonna work, but it was for a front wheel drive. I think my next game plan, because I've been looking for EO4 parts, I can't find it. Not very good at this whole internet forum thing, but um, I'm trying. I am trying. I'm trying to do research. I'm trying to learn more. But um, I think my next move is to go to AutoZone, get a VR4 front hub, and then just measure it. This inner diameter right here, and then if the um, VR4 one is a cut here smaller, then it should work. Sure. Cut here. Cut here. I'm offended. He's offended. So no more. Now, are you going to share with people who gave you the brilliant idea that you just explained? Pony. Ponytail. Roberto. Rob Speck. Rob Speck. Rob Speck told him. I gotta come up with a cool like, thing like, when people say Rob Speck. Let's say Rob Speck. Rob Speck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess with that being said, this is the end of the video. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I definitely want to go to the Pick and Pull Junkyard a little more. It's a little, it was kind of fun. Yeah. It kind of sucked because I'm all dirty and feel disgusting, but at the end of the day, it's what it's all about. I have to go buy soap because we don't have any soap. Yeah. Actually, fuck the soap. I well, got some fucking. I mean, we got some clean energy to use. I got some junker drift wheel. So it's not like I got no nice naughty that I'm going inside to, you know what I mean? Oh, Alex, I got a ZL drop off for you while we're gone. Okay. Hell yeah. Do a little damage. Yeah. I'll do everything. Give a give a wham, little whamma zammy spamma zammy clean up time. I don't know. If you guys like to do it, give a thumbs up. Want to subscribe for more? Subscribe for more. Don't forget to go to the link below. Get your um, www.junk. For less.net, go get your shirt, go get your hat, go get your beanie, go get your sweatshirt, go um, go down below, check out horsepowerlogic.com. Get yourself an import, go down in the link below and subscribe to my buddy Alex so you can learn how to clean headlights on a budget. See you tomorrow and peace out.